What are you two? Ed Pierce here. Welcome back to the show. Ooh, today I'm finna do a, uh, a kind of like a little mukbang or whatever. I'm gonna do this in my car, you feel me? Because uh, I just wanted to do it in my car. You know what I mean? And we're gonna have a discussion. It's my lunchtime or whatever. So we're gonna have a discussion about a topic that's probably gonna be uh, a little touchy or whatever. Controversial, to say the least. You know, it's good, healthy conversation, and you know what I mean? I always be talking to my friend, and he always say to me, man, Ed, we should have these conversations live. He's not with me right now, but you know what I mean? I'm just going to try to, you know what I'm saying, like, create that conversation, talking to the camera and you guys on YouTube. I, I hate that, like, trying to get your straw inside of these top sometimes they don't always be ripped so sometimes you bend your straw let me see but today's lunch is brought to you by mcdonald's i usually don't eat mcdonald's but sometimes i just have like a taste for mcdonald's so it's probably from all the msg that's pushed up in the food <laughs> make me want to keep eating it you know what i mean even when i don't be wanting to you know even when i know it's not healthy but you know i pray over all of my food so hopefully, you know what I mean, my prayers are not going unheard and all of the molecules and and everything that builds up this burger is changed and turned into something that is healthy for my body. So we got a four for four. So I got me a, a burger, whatever, a double cheeseburger, some nuggets and some fries. So I'm just gonna take everything out. I'm gonna let y'all see my fries. They look all right, and I'm with some small fries. I try not to, uh, I try not to actually um, eat too many fries and stuff. Cause them like empty calories and stuff. I just like to eat protein and carbs and stuff. I don't like to eat empty calories. You know what I mean? Everything fresh. McDonald's had a limited menu because of the quarantine. All right, so what we're talking about today, we're going to be talking about relationships. And not only relationships, we're going to pinpoint honesty in relationships. Because, well, well, I got trash bags. A lot of people don't understand what honesty is. You know, catch up. That's a sweet and sour sauce. I like sweet and sour sauce to dip, to dip my uh, nuggets in, and then I dip my fries and ketchup. But relationships and honesty, honesty. So, you know, people always say, you know, they want their spouse to be honest with them, you know. And we do want honesty, you know what I mean? And this is going to be a raw conversation, like... Like, this is going to be all 100% real. Sometimes I get max sauce on my double cheeseburger. I forgot who put me up on there. It's like a hood classic. Like a little hood hack. You know what I mean? Throw you a little max sauce on your double cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Yeah. When it comes to understanding relationships, people people always say when you first meet a person, it's kind of like their representative. And I believe that, I believe that, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent. Because I feel like, you know, if you really want to meet somebody, and get to know this person, when you know these things about them, and trying to learn about them, like you don't want to really be in that representative stage for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So, me saying that by saying, you don't really, you don't really want to be that first person you are. Okay, example, let me put out this example. This girl, I'm gonna put this down for a minute because you know this feeling. Uh, this girl 
who I work with, one of my coworkers. She she wears the makeup and the uh, eyelashes and you know the things that girls do to beautify themselves. And um, so she told me that unless she's in a committed relationship with a man, he'll never see her without her makeup, eyelashes, and hair. And I said, well, you know, that's not really a being honest to that man because once he see you without your makeup, now you have another conscious decision to make. Do he want to be with you? You know what I mean? Because it's the same way with the way a person dress. Some people don't care how they dress. So they were, you know, just, you know, in the same thing pretty much every single week. Some people keep the same clothes years on top of years on top of years. Some people be fresh. Now, if, uh, if, if you meet a girl, you meet a woman, and you fresh the first time you meet her, then next time you meet her, you're not fresh, she gonna think a certain type of way. She gonna be like, damn, what, you know, what's going on? And if she meets you, first time she meets you, you in a nice car, you driving it, and you fresh. Next time she meets you, you don't have a car, and you, you bummy. She gonna think different about you. So it goes the same way for a woman when she say, oh, a man can't see me until, he can't see me with my natural hair until we're in an actually committed relationship. Because in my mind, you won't be able to get into a committed relationship because you're not being honest. Because that's where honesty comes in at. I think that you should put it all out on the table. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not immediately the first time you all date, but you know, in your dating stages, it shouldn't be a representative. Give a person who you are in the beginning. The representative thing is a lie that's not gonna roll over fine, roll over good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna start having issues and problems and arguing all sorts of stuff because you're not being who you truly are. Like, they always say what you do in the beginning, you have to do at the end. So don't create some type of high expectation for yourself when you know you're not trying to live that every day. Like, why would you want to wear a wig, eyelashes, and makeup every day to impress a person when you first meet them when you know that seven years down the line, you, you might be tired of wearing makeup and you want to wear your natural face now. And now the man like, well, I don't want to see your natural face. I'm used to the makeup. You know what I mean? So give a person, let a person see you at your worst. Yo, I'm back. My, my phone, I was recording off my phone at first, but it ended up dying. So I had to go grab a camera real quick. But, um, yeah, I, I, I got to remember where I started out. I, I mean, where I ended it. I know I was eating these fries, so I ain't gonna let these get cold. You know what I mean? McDonald's fries cold. And I found the hack for these fries. I might make a video on it too, how to reheat them and keep them good and crispy. But, you know what I mean? But that's not really being honest. So, when you're trying to be honest about something or you're trying to be honest with a person, then you really wanna be honest like right in the beginning like your first couple of dates need to be really getting to know a person like i learned that dating throughout these years of dating like you have to actually get to know a person when i was younger i would strictly go off of physical attraction you know what i mean like yeah i was kind of a emotional person i didn't really understand what was going on that's why i couldn't always get the woman that I was physically attracted to because no matter how physically attracted to her I was, we would never be able to have that conversation or she wouldn't be able to feel that void that I felt deep down. And the only ones who were were girls who weren't actually everything that was appeasing to my eyes. Like she may be cute or may have, you know, cute features, but wasn't the ideal woman that I wanted. You know what I mean? So being honest, being honest in the very beginning can save you guys from a lot of problems. And even if even if you do 
let's just say y'all get in a relationship and you you start out as a representative but you guys do end up falling in love and really start liking each other and you know your your, your real side start coming out you still have to be honest like when shit hits the fan it's time to go ahead and be honest you know what i mean because you know it's, it, it it has been times where people will some people who are compulsive liars will literally just lie to your face even with the evidence you could be like look at this and they'll be like no it's this you know what i mean and right now i'm eating this chicken nugget with my oh look at that oh look good with this sweet and sour i'm gonna dip it i'm gonna dip it so if you want a real meal mm, that's delicious I'm not creating my own brand it's nothing like this see this the Icon brand, it's flavor. I used to go, uh, the 99, now I'm going, uh, delicious. If you ain't eating wrap noodles, then you shouldn't be eating noodles, cause this is the best of the best noodles. Mm -hmm. Those other noodle companies have nothing on us. We wrap noodles, we the King Kong of noodles. <laughs> Mmm, mm, processed chicken. Can't beat it. You have to eventually be honest because even if you never, never, never be honest and you guys end up breaking up, getting a divorce and all that, it's still gonna come out in the end. It's gonna come out. So to deflect all that, to not even waste all that time, man, go ahead, do what you need to do. Right then and there, be honest. Right then and there, right in the beginning, because I'm telling you, it saves so much of a heartache. You know how many women I cut out of my life nowadays because of honesty, <laughs> like, and not in a bad way. You know what I mean? It's just because I'm taking time to get to know them. Like, yeah, I look at you and be like, oh yeah, she's physically attractive to me. I would like to, you know. You get to know her better. I get to know her better. Using my method, which is being honest. Telling her what I do, what I'm doing in my life. My goals, what I plan on working for, for a relationship. What I want out of a relationship. Things I want for my life, you know what I'm saying? Just different things like that. You know, once you get to talking, I can automatically win her out. Now, but you have to be, to be able to be honest like brutally honest like that you have to have the emotion of sex under control you have to have that under control because and i'm just being honest like i'm not this is not a sugar-coated video you know what i mean i'm just being honest but see sometimes a person can be so physically attractive to you that you will neglect the red sign the red flags you know what i mean like if you say you know I'm looking for, I'm, you know, I'm looking for a woman, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a girlfriend who trying to build with me. We trying to build together. And then she tell you, I like to party. Then, you know what I mean? You got a, you got a conscious decision to make right then and there. Okay, she like to party. Will she be able to party and build with us the relationship you know what i mean you gotta make these good decisions and stuff you know what i mean that's i mean because it's hard you know what i mean sometimes we'll be like well you know what i'm gonna let her party and i'm gonna i'm gonna still talk to other women but i want to have sex with her so i'm gonna act like i kind of like her because see i realized that women are completely different from, from men when it comes to that. Like, man, these, these chicken nuggets on point, though. Mm. See, I like when they be hot. Good, crispy. No burn more. This is the second one. Look at this, John. Look good. But, women, they're totally different with that. Like, a woman would start liking you. 
you know what I mean, straight from sex, or she may start liking you straight from conversation or whatever. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> ooh, I'm a guy, I'm a little choked up right there. That processed chicken. Yeah. But, take another bite of this burp. But see that's why but that's why you wanna keep keep it honest and be honest because you don't wanna have to try to live that life for a long time. You know what I mean? And you don't wanna have to you don't wanna lie to the woman because you know what I'm saying, even though this video is for all races, but just speaking predominantly for my race, like you don't really wanna have to Lie to our women. Our women have already been lied to, manipulated, all sorts of stuff. We all know about the struggles of the black woman, the black man, and the 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 black relationship. You know what I mean? So we really, really are in no position to be lying to our women, dragging them on. You know what I mean? If a woman say she feel like this, you need to nip it in the bud. Look, I feel like this. You know what I mean? And if she want to continue, then let her continue. You know what I mean? But if, as a man, if you are able to notice and realize, okay, this is starting to be me taking advantage of her because I know she has feelings attached and I don't really want to go to her. You need to end it, bro. Same way with women. Because men get in that position too. The man doing all this different stuff for a woman, hoping that one day he, uh, you know, be able to actually be in a relationship with this woman, get some type of actually, I'm sorry, oh, excuse me, get some type of actual affection from this woman, but never get it because she's only using him, unfortunately, for certain things. So, you know, we got to stop that using in our community and outside of our community, all over the world, we really need to stop all that using because when it boils down, you know what I mean? man and female relationship or <clears throat> any type of union you know what i mean any type of union that comes together for the greater good and is trying to build something in a positive light then we need to cherish that and we need to champion it you know what i mean like we we, we got to stop championing the pimps and the players and the two three girlfriends and all that yeah man you can have all that guess what yeah you can have all that but it is proven signs that man if you get you one woman or one partner and y'all focus y'all lock in together and focus man you can have a lot man, what you need with 10 wives for like that's spreading yourself too thin you don't have like you need to be focused nowadays like you need to be running up this money i always tell people poverty is a hundred thousand dollars you can look this up I research money all day. I have a channel, Free Money TV. I talk about this all day. Even even on the Ed Pierce show, I, I talk about how to make money. A hundred thousand dollars is minimum wage. I mean, not minimum wage. Part, pardon me, but a hundred thousand dollars per year is the average uh, low income. So, man, we don't have time to be having ten wives, ten women, bro. You got the driver. You got to buy ten gifts. You got to hear 10, 10 different women talking, bro. It's already hard enough to hear one. She gonna be on your ass and you got 10 women on your ass. Bro, no fool. They just like having 10 baby mamas, bro. My partner, my partner out in South Memphis, stressed out right now. He got eight kids, man. Eight. He thought it was funny when he was young. Now he a grown man. His check a dollar. Man, it's real talk. You feel me? His check is one dollar. From not understanding how detrimental it is to be in a relationship and hold and cherish their relationship, be in love, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Be honest, man. If you you be honest with your partner, you'll be you'll be surprised what you can get from them and, and what you will give them. Because y'all being honest, y'all on one page, man. How you think these people married 50, 60, 70 years? Not because it's the old-fashioned way, because they were honest with each other. They, they, they didn't have to live a lot like we do. See, we live a lot with everything. That's a part of our new culture. 
our new culture is to live a lot and push everything aside you feel me but that's not how it was back in the day that's they were honest people you feel me like i ain't saying they 100 percent honest I, don't take that out of context nobody is 100 percent honest but what i'm saying is they were more honest they weren't wearing weave you know what i mean they weren't getting her pieces you feel me i got partners you feel me right now? I, don't know, I ain't throwing no shade at no woman wearing her. I ain't throwing no shade at no partners wearing no uh, pieces, her piece. But I got a partner who do that. I, I got a grill. My teeth is white. I got a grill. Gold teeth. 20, 20 gold teeth in my mouth. A woman see that, she think I got gold teeth. I pop it out. Can I be mad at her if she leave me? I, lie, I chose to live that lie and show and present that lie to her. You feel me? Because that's the that's the culture and the generation that we live in. But see, back then, you feel me? They 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 want they go to for the actual tooth. And I ain't talking about a couple years ago. I'm talking about back then, back then, back then. You feel me? Back when they were married for 50, 60, 70, 80 years. And they ain't married that long no more. You know what I mean? So, it's my first time doing the mukbang. I don't know if people eat about the food or not. But I'm not. I just wanted to taste it. I just like to taste food sometimes. That's my video for today. Uh, the McDonald's is pretty good. Shout out to McDonald's in Memphis, Tennessee. Made everything fresh right now. Uh, and I appreciate that in these quarantine times. If you all like the content of this video, I may start doing a couple of more on my channel. But I don't know. This is like a first time video thing. I'm not gonna even edit it, I'm throw an intro, uh, add a little uh, captions throughout the video, and sh that's it, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna do too much editing on this video, so I wanna keep it raw. Ed Pierce Show, thank you for viewing again, peace out.